You install Google Analytics 4 on a website, but there is no data available. Why? There are many possible reasons, and in this video, I will show you the most common ones. The first thing that you could check is the network requests. Every time Google Analytics 4 is activated on a website, it sends requests to Google. You can check this by going to the website where you have installed GA4, then click three dots, more tools, developer tools, and then go to network. Here in the search field, enter collect, and then refresh the page. If Google Analytics is installed, it will send a request that might look something like this. As you can see, it says analytics.google.com or it might say google-analytics.com or something like that. And here you will see what kind of data was sent. If you are using server-side tagging, then the domain might be different here or it is also possible that even the collect part will be hidden. So in that case, you could try to enter your measurement ID, which starts with G dash and then something. And then then once you enter your measurement ID here, you should still see the request in the developer tools. Also, it would be a good practice to navigate through multiple pages of your website and check if the requests are visible on all those pages because maybe Google Analytics is installed just on some pages. So if you don't see the Google Analytics request in the network request tab, then maybe Google Analytics is not installed on your website. If you're using Google Tag Manager on a website, then you could check if the Google tag is installed in the container. And also you could check if the measurement ID is correct. If you have installed Google Analytics without Google Tag Manager, for example, maybe you're using a native integration of your content management system, or maybe your developers have added the code to the site, you could also use the developer tools to check that. So in the developer tools, you could go to sources, then click Control Shift F on Mac, I guess it would be Command Shift F, and then paste your measurement ID and hit enter. Then if you have Google Analytics installed somewhere, then you should see the googletagmatch.com slash gtag slash js and then your measurement ID. If you don't see it, then it looks like GA4 is not installed on your site and you should troubleshoot that with your developers or maybe you should start using Google Tag Manager and install the container through that. Then another possible reason is that maybe Google Analytics code is installed, but the code of Google Analytics is broken. Let me show you an example. Here I am on a demo website and if I do the right click and view page source and then look for gtag, I will find the gtag tag code and at the first glance it looks okay it contains the script url it contains the gtag commands but here you will notice one problem or at least you might notice one problem all quotation marks properly are displayed like this but because of some reason maybe a marketer posted a code in a google doc or word document and a rich text editor modified the quotation marks so these are the correct quotation marks but these ones are not so even this kind of small modification will break the code and even though the code is here it will not work properly so keep an eye on the syntax of your tracking code as well Another reason might be that Google Analytics, which is installed on your website, is sending data to the wrong measurement ID. To check that, first you would need to go to Google Analytics, Admin, then Data Streams, and select your website data stream. Take a look at this measurement ID. In your case, it will be different, but memorize it because that's the correct measurement ID. So once you have memorized the correct measurement ID, check what kind of ID is used in your tracking code. So in the case of gtag, I can check the page source, and then here I will see that the measurement ID here here and here are different compared to what I have in my data stream, which means that this tracking code sends the data to the incorrect stream. The solution here would be to tell your developer or if you have access to the code to change the measurement ID to the correct one. If you're working with Google Tag Manager, check the GA4 configuration tag click here and then check if the ID is correct. If you have multiple GA4 event tags as well, and you have manually inserted the measurement ID in those tags, then check them as well, because maybe they are sending it to the wrong property. Another reason can apply if you're using Google Tag Manager to install GA4. Maybe you actually have installed Google Analytics 4, but those changes are not published. You can do that by going to Google Tag Manager overview and see if there are any workspace changes. If you see something here, it means that these changes are not published to the website visitors. For example, in my case, the GA4 config tag was modified. It might be added, 
But if you have some changes here related to GA4, then there is a chance that these changes are the reason why Google Analytics is not sending data to your property. To fix this, obviously you would need to first validate these changes, make sure that they are working with the preview mode. And after you do that, then click submit and publish these changes. Then after that, you will need to wait for 24, maybe 48 hours, and the data should start coming into your GA4 property. If you still cannot find the reason why there is no data available in GE4, then maybe the reason is something in Google Tag Manager. Maybe your tags are in Google Tag Manager, but they do not fire. You can check that by going to Google Tag Manager, clicking preview and enabling the preview mode. So once you connect and the tag assistant says that it is connected, then go to Google Tag Manager and click, let's say on the page title and see if your GA4 tags fired. In my case, the main tracking code did not fire, therefore Google Analytics is not activated on a page. In this case, you could click the tag and then check which conditions were not met. For example, I expect the G for config tag to fire on initialization. And if I click here and then click the tag, I will see which conditions were met. And it looks like firing conditions were met. But for some reason, this tag also has the blocking trigger and its condition was also met, which means that the tag will not fire. And there are even more reasons why your tags might not fire in Google Tag Manager. And if you want to learn more about them, then I will post a link below the video. Another reason might apply if your website has stricter rules and policies regarding tracking codes that can be activated on a website. And this is called content security policy. Basically, your developers can set stricter rules on a website and they might be blocking your Google Analytics tracking codes from firing. So you should go to the website then go to developer tools and go to the console. And here you should check if there are any errors related to content security policy or CSP. Here's an example of the content security policy. As you can see, it is mentioned in the error. And because of this, Google Tag Manager does not work properly. And since Google Analytics is installed with Google Tag Manager, naturally GA4 will not work as well. So the workaround here would be to talk with developers and ask them to update the content security policy. I'll post a link to the documentation about this below the video. Then maybe you're using some cookie management platform that shows the cookie consent pop-up on your website. Some platforms offer automatic blocking, which means that they can prevent Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and other platforms from working until the consent is given. Now, I will not be showing the exact steps because different platforms can have different steps, but this is just something for you to check and keep in mind. For example, CookieBot, which is a very popular consent management system, they do have a blocking feature. So if it is set to auto, it means that various tracking scripts might be deactivated or blocked and they will not fire until consent is given. But if your consent message is very poorly visible, then it is possible that many users just don't give consent. Therefore, your tracking codes remain blocked. And then the last tip of the video is that you need to keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 requires more time to process the data. It takes at least 24 hours, sometimes even 48 hours for the data to show up. So if you have installed GA4 and you check, let's say 12 hours after that, the data still might not be there. So some patience is also required. Hopefully these troubleshooting tips helped you. If not, then check the links below the video. There are more resources with helpful information. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.